access to our latest. Oh, sorry, yeah, the recording has started. So. Um, so we will be sharing our latest demo to the digital learning and engagement platform by Games for Business. And let us know if we can share the case study of today's discussion project with you later as well. So uh, let's get on to the topic. So um, let's begin with a little background uh, to the development of this emblematic new office building in Budapest. Um, can you give us uh, a little insight into the, the work environments of the mall group before the big move? What do you think was the main reason uh, the company wanted to invest into this new campus development and create a, a really um, new type of office environment for its employees? And me, I start with the change management part because uh, I try to explain it to my mother, but right now I try to explain it to you. Uh, nowadays, we have continuous changes uh, in on campus, in the smart solution, in the new features, and uh, our workplace. And as a change manager, uh, my goals are the following to inform, involve, and engage colleagues to commit uh, for the new base of working by helping. Uh, our colleagues to understand the benefit of the workplace and uh, our role as uh, the skill development in practice and to get prepared before the moving and after the moving period. This is just what I would like to uh, mention here. What is the change management? What is the human focus uh, in this construction? Uh, more campus employees worked in three districts in 10 different office buildings in Budapest. By the moving to the new headquarters, we make our work more digital efficient and we can foster collaboration and it also provides us a sustainable growth. In the past, the majority of our colleagues are working in offices uh, of maximum two, three, four people in several different locations. The collaboration and the communication between the various organizations, organizations were not so smooth in certain cases. Furthermore, those office buildings, those old office buildings, didn't live up to the standards of modern office buildings, and uh, these were getting too uh, overcrowded. By moving the employees to the brand new HQ, uh, the Mall Campus Project team is working on making Mall one of the most modern and innovative office uh, companies. So, my team, uh, and what is our goal? Uh, Mall Campus uh, would be the best place to work. Uh, this is our goal, uh, work uh, for our colleagues to collaborate and innovative by uh, have the best working experience here, where they can be inspired and supported to work more effectively and to be more productive. Um, I just want, I would like to show you how uh, big was our change. Apart from the change of the location, uh, in the past, our work was paper-based and we had keys to the offices and uh, the cabinets. Of course, I lost mine or I forgot my keys at home. <laughs> um, in the past, we didn't have smart solution, for example, a uh, more campus mobile application, which includes smart lockers, digital queuing, parking place uh, booking uh, options, or we didn't have vending machines. Uh, one of the biggest changes was the, the new uh, workplace methodology. So here you can imagine just a short uh, uh, site. How, how can you imagine our changes here? And let's not forget about the, the biggest change, the Pater Noster. You probably don't have that anymore, do you? Yes. yes uh, yeah. But I guess it, it, it was it your Yeah, telephone? actually, for, yeah, for, for me, this is quite a, uh, one of the... Uh, the things that I miss the most, uh, I'd love to to use the patterns around. Well, um, I, I can't add too much uh, on the comprehensive overview that uh, that Tindy uh, uh, basically described what we had before. Just to give you a very you know tangible experience or a tangible example that uh, in our level it was the fifth floor. Uh, it doesn't matter. It was so you know narrow. Mm, corridors with small rooms sometimes it was dark uh two or three people again uh were in the same room and basically uh we had not too much uh room for for collaboration so from from that um environment 
we've basically shifted to a totally different universe, we can say that. Uh, not to mention that, um, as it was, again, Dindy mentioned, uh, there were different locations, 10 different locations within Budapest. So you can imagine that how hard it was to cooperate and collaborate especially in person uh, within these um, within these sites so the change was was big indeed yeah, and um, Tundi was mentioning several digital tools already and I, that was going to be one of my questions whether there were any besides the tool that we're going to talk today about uh, any other tools or solutions mainly digital ones that were applied maybe before or during or after the move for the average mall employee uh, that were related to this whole change process or the change of the new workplace? Yes, to be honest, this change management was uh, quite challenging for me and my team. Uh, of course, we used several kinds of digital and non-digital change management tools before the moving and after the moving as well. For example, we used focus group discussions, managerial and employee workshops, involvement activities during the design phase, Marketplace, knowledge library, it was a kind of website like a Google Health Center. Uh, here you can uh, imagine in this way. Uh, we have Change Agent Network, just a short fun fact here. Barnett was one of our change agents from HR. So thank you, Barnett. <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty obvious uh, <laughs> to, to be part of this project in, in, in that way as well. Yeah. And here we are in our webinars topic because we use gamification uh, like a change management tool. And why did you decide to to apply a gamified learning tool for this uh, for this purpose? Um, were there any precedents uh, in more group for applying gamified solutions within the organization in other HR or learning or change management areas before this one? Yeah, well, uh, we do had different solutions earlier for different populations, like for the fresh grad program, uh, we had um, kind of a simulation about uh, an integrated oil and gas uh, company and the, the, the fresh grads. Uh, I mean, the point or the, the goal was uh, was that they had to, through this simulation, create a company and drive um, through different challenges and, and barriers. So it was it, it was a kind of a different different simulation, I would say, a different game. Uh, more than that, well, we have still um, another kind of gamification, I would say. It's more like a question-based system for, for our retail stuff. So um, to be very precise, within the consumer service uh, division, basically, uh, there is a, a tool that we've um, introduced for the onboarding and knowledge transfer um, for the hosts. So the uh, the colleagues who are working on the stations and the gas stations, filling stations. So definitely we had different uh, experience with different providers, with different tools. Um, but because I've uh, I've obviously familiar with uh, with uh, with your solution, we felt uh, in the beginning that uh, that we would like to utilize basically uh, gamification for different purposes along the way. This was one of um, I mean my goal as a digital learning uh, expert who is responsible for for the strategy behind. It's basically was to, to enable and to utilize the right systems for the right purposes. And for example, uh, such a, a gamified platform is, is a perfect match for, uh, for an onboarding. But back then we were not there yet uh, with our onboarding process, with the, the revamp of, uh, of the onboarding process. So it was a very good, I wouldn't say test, but it was a really clear choice that, okay, this, this project, you know, speaking about uh, moving to the, the new location, the, to the new building and the, the change, uh, what it takes is big enough. And it's, it's, a, it's a very good, uh, let's put it that way, a use case uh, to, to implement uh, this solution uh, provided by you guys. So, so that's how it, uh, it came to the picture. We obviously had um, a kind of a cooperation I think it was uh, almost three years now, if I'm not mistaken, when we've uh, when we've uh, started to to collaborate. But this was the the the, the first big project that we've uh, basically introduced for a bigger population. Yes, and um, 
So my, my colleague actually has started uh, sharing some of the uh, screenshots from the system that we are applying at more for this big uh, move to the new headquarters. While we are looking at these photos, can you briefly describe this gamified solution to our audience? What it's about, um, um, how it shares, uh, how it helps the colleagues fit in. So what was the whole project about just to, so that they understand the context of it uh, while they're looking at the, the illustrations? Yeah, if I may, um, maybe we can, we can uh, answer this question, uh, both of us. Well, in, in the beginning, uh, when we when we saw, so you have to understand that the 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 Mo campus project itself it was kind of a, a stretchy big project. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure how how the years that we've spent with with that when uh, the actual uh, moving uh, happened, but it, it, it was a I mean it's it's a very complex a tremendous work that we've uh, that we've had before the moving. Um, so we've clearly see that it's not just about the building. So uh, what was the aim of the game? Uh, well, to prepare our colleagues, then give or take two and a half uh, thousand colleagues uh, for their first day and, uh, and afterwards, that in this new building, they would know, or that was the purpose, uh, they will know what to use and how to use, how to navigate and every features of it. And there are tons of, there are tons of it, uh, trust me. But not just the hard facts or the hard skills that needs to be basically, um, yeah, let's put it that way, used uh, along the way. But it was also about the change management because, as you've mentioned, that the the way how we've worked and the way how we've uh, actually now working in the new building is a total different uh, universe. It's called uh, the activity based working, which uh, probably Tundi would um, would love to talk about more. So the game, or sorry, the aim was to to prepare these two major elements: um, the the whole employee staff who are basically affected by the move. So the hard skills uh, and also uh, the new ways of working. Yes, we were benchmarking. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Yeah. We were benchmarking and thinking about a lot about what would be the best workplace to support our strategy. Thus, we involved our colleagues in the design phases and all the results, surveys, focus group discussions, managerial interviews were used when we designed our workplace concept. And this is the activity based working method, as Valin uh, said that. Uh, here, I would like to highlight two main points uh, the concept of the home base and working area. In the building, we separate work areas, the homes of the organization, so call it home base. So this place is the home base of the department and they share this area. And there are co-working areas and uh, that are accessible to all employees. So employees uh, are able to work in both the podium and the tower building, both in the home base area and the co-working area as well. And my second point is the activity-based working method. Uh, what does it mean? The workers are free to choose their working spaces within uh, the building, depending on the activity, what they are performing. Each uh, floor consists of the same features. So you can choose from several kinds of working modules, for example, meeting rooms, project rooms, quiet zone, focus zone, team zone. Uh, telephone rooms, uh, team zones, uh, community spaces, and I'm sitting right now on the focus box. So here you can imagine the diversity of uh, the workplace. It's a brand new thing to all the small employees. Thank you for this planning meet, and I hope that... Yeah, I mean Illustrations, very good to give. I, I just, sorry, sorry, Peter. I just wanted to uh, add one more thing. That probably in the pictures you can see that uh, how modern the building uh, is actually from from the inside. So you can imagine that from the narrow corridors with the small, old-fashioned uh, offices to that wide and big spaces and and, and the modern workplace that we that we have, it was it was a tremendous. Um, Tremendous change. So, so that was the the actual yes, thing we that know, we had to solve. Yeah. Yes, and we know that uh, a newsletter or just sh uh, short news is in the uh, internet yeah. were not enough to spread the whole information to, to the colleagues. 
Yes, as far as I remember, um, this was not only a, a possibility to explore the building and its capabilities, but there was even like a narrative around it, uh, how we should explore the building. Sure. But I have to solve a little challenge that Jake, like you have like a little goal in the whole story. It's kind of a frame story around the whole exploration. And in the end, you actually explore all of the parts of the building and uh, you were able to win some some little merchandise prizes, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So when when we've designed the, the whole journey, uh, my idea was to, to somehow build up an actual day that might be the first day of an employee. So uh, the, the stages and the journey basically uh, there are different locations around the building uh, and within the building. It's like closing from the bird's eye to a very, very concrete location in the in the building. So this is how uh, the elements or the stages or the or the locations uh, are put together, and that creates the, the whole journey. So uh, the, the the idea behind was to 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 have the same feeling uh, for the users, for the colleagues who are playing with this game, like when they are approaching the building. Okay, on my first day, what will be the transportation uh, if I'm going with uh, with public transport? Uh, to the building, what would that be? Or how I can approach the building on foot or, or something like that. So this was the idea. And later on in the game, the navigation was, was created in the same way that, uh, okay, what would be a logical, uh, I don't know, tour, let's put it that way, tour around uh, the building if I would like to go to the top? And this was aligned with, uh, with our, uh, I can I can say, with a very good external motivational uh, logic. Meaning we've had uh, tons of merchandise, uh, merchandising elements. Uh, some of them were internal services. Some of them are, you know, physical um, prizes that uh, that with the progression in the game, obviously you can use your points and and basically you will be able to uh, to collect these items. So it it was one of the things that boosted uh, the usage. So so that was the the idea behind and one of the the elements for that uh, because we wanted to to create a simulation where where our colleagues will be uh, so the things that they see in the game, it will be pretty much familiar for them when they uh, when they will be in the the actual building after the uh, the move order in the first day. So together with this, what you can see on the on the screen, with this uh, playful, colorful uh, game experience and what it's you know in the design also uh, visible. I mean, the real world and the, and the design, how it was created, it's really a good uh, support or it, it gives a, a very good uh, a very good design or a very good experience for, for the user. So that was the, the real idea behind. Thank you, Bang. Um, yes. Sorry, sorry. Kinda. Yes, and before the moving, they get a lot of information for the first day. So they can start the first day with yeah. a lot of information. Of course, they need more, and, it, and it's a continuous uh, improvement for us. For yeah. yeah, it definitely sounds like there's a lot of topics, information involved from the logistics, work on organization, um, um, and a lot of useful tips and uh, tricks in the building. Who were the main stakeholders and decision makers who needed to be involved in the preparation of this project? Can you share any information on that? Small campus project team made the decision uh, with the HR support, so we needed uh, a gamified platform. And the decision maker was small campus uh, project sponsor, so we got endorsement from the highest level. And um, what expectations? Sorry, did you want to add? No, no, I, I just wanted to uh, uh, to add that obviously there were different. Uh, departments like IT and 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 I don't know, legal. So, what you can imagine when implementing something, uh, definitely those areas were involved. And in most cases, uh, the the management was uh, was in charge in terms of the decisions and uh, when it comes to stakeholders. So, to to in the end, the team worked a lot with with, with them very much. Yeah. And what expectations did you have from this gamified approach? Was it only meant to be a campaign initially, or did you have any long-term plans already with it when you started planning it? 
Well, obviously the uh, the expectations were uh, to to prepare the colleagues for the, for the move. So in the first day, they they as I've uh, mentioned earlier, uh, that they already prepared when when the first uh, day will be there and in campus. Uh, so that was obviously one of the biggest uh, KPIs or not KPIs, but uh, but expectations and. Um, Probably I also mentioned onboarding uh, in the beginning. Well, it was in my idea this uh, this use case uh, to utilize uh, Games for Business um, gamification platform for for the Campus uh, Move project. Basically, was the 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 first doorstep or or the actual door to a broader onboarding experience uh, after the revamp of it, because uh, we recently revamped the program. So it was kind of a test run. Uh, it's, it's not a good uh, phrase for that, but we wanted to understand that, okay, how the how our colleagues are behaving with, with such a, uh, a platform and experience and how it fits to their uh, the daily job. And it, it, was, it was really cool. And basically that, proved that okay verified uh so to say that okay this is the, the idea was good that this is a good tool for for onboarding so my expectation was to to get approval or uh, get a kind of a proof that we are on the right track uh if we would like to to implement it for uh, for the onboarding purposes and we did and since you mentioned the uh the employees what did your colleagues like the most uh, in this within the system or what was what tended to be the favorite elements of the of the of the users in the platform? Tindy, if you would like to answer this okay, question, please continue. Or, okay. Well, um, um, it was. It, <laughs> It's an interesting question. Obviously, we we, we don't know uh, exactly all of the uh, all of the um, the answers or what what was the uh, the biggest uh, or what was the the favorite part of of them. We did a research. We obviously we, we saw the analytics and uh, we had uh, questionnaires and we had uh, kind of follow up uh, sessions with the um, with the frequent users. And what we've gathered. Um, as an information, obviously the the merchant the, the merch was was one of the uh, the big things because as I've uh, mentioned, it was kind of an extended, very extensive uh, portfolio of, of, of merch uh, or elements. But um, well, we saw that the usage was really high. There were different colleagues. I'm not sure where, where I can't remember where which department, but. Um, there was one of them that spent uh, with one of the quizzes, mini games, uh, I don't know, hours, days. Um, they've they've completed, uh, or this this person completed more than one thousand times the same uh, mini game. So you can imagine that um, the gamer uh, was somehow uh, found <laughs> through the game. So uh, there were. I would say heavy users who spent uh, hours and hours and hours uh, playing the game. Firstly, about the content, and then they uh, about the, the 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 reason behind was the the merchant probably uh, they wanted to do it more you know, faster or or uh, or more precise. Uh, that was also one of the feedbacks. Uh, um, other than that, I would say what we saw through the analytics as well. There was no. Uh, no hour uh, within a day where there was no activity. So like 3 a.m. Uh, early in the morning, or it's not morning, it's still night. Uh, there were also, you know, usage and activity on the game. And, and so every single hour of the day, there was some activity, especially uh, in the first uh, period when, because we've introduced the, the content in three, yeah, in three I would say packs or uh, uh -huh. three, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we can say that, uh, three s sprints. Um, and the first one, obviously, but when it was the newest one, it, uh, it was the biggest hit. And, um, and it, was, it was really interesting that how our colleagues were, were engaged with the game.
Actually, one of our attendees is asking uh, how many people, how many employees have used the game and whether it was obligatory. Can you share any such results with us? I know that the, 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 the participation from the employee side was not obligatory, so it was completely voluntary. They could decide if they want yeah. to. We don't want to, uh, you know, press them or or make it mandatory. Obviously, they've uh, they were, I wouldn't say overwhelmed with information, but we wanted to to utilize their inner motivation uh, to play the game and through that learn. Uh, so, speaking about the numbers, as we've mentioned, the the, the full scope was two and a half thousand colleagues, uh, and out of this um, two thousand five hundred colleagues, if I'm not mistaken, but correct me, uh, Tindy, if I'm wrong, it was around one thousand four hundred ish colleagues who who were activated their account and and logged in and played the game. Obviously, there were more frequent users or repeat learners, uh, let's put it that way, um, and some uh, didn't continue after the uh, the first couple of locations, so there will be obviously some, some churn, let's put it that way, but, uh, but yeah, so more than 50% more than, uh, of, of the population used the game. Thank you, Valent. Um, can you also share maybe some negatives? For example, was there anything in the project that you missed or would improve maybe if you were able, if you'd be able to do it uh, again or if there was another uh, similar project in the future? Of course, uh, <laughs> there are still room for improvements. Uh, I would yeah. like to highlight two things. Uh, first of all, must have a project team. Uh, so dedicate human yeah. resources to the project. The second, prepare every kind of material, learnings, pictures, articles, videos, before the go-live. So take time and prepare the materials. Uh, actually, and, one of our attendees is asking us, because I'm also reading at the, uh, the questions while we're speaking, uh, how long was the change period? How much time ahead have you started to inform colleagues on their office moving journey? Um, to be honest, before the moving, I have started my work three years before the moving. So uh, this is the change management yeah. part. Of course, the construction part has started um, maybe six years before the moving. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, but as uh, as it was mentioned, I was part of the uh, so-called campus representatives uh, or the change agents uh, mm -hmm. network. Uh, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, but uh, Tuni, you probably remember better, it was uh, at least one year before uh, the actual move happened. And basically, the, the, the last year was really intense in terms of communication. So uh, there were dedicated platforms, as it was mentioned already. Also, this, uh, this change agent ne network mm, uh, was also part of it or involved mm, around uh or yeah b b before the move uh at least one one year before that yeah yeah we try to get ready for the smooth transition and uh, no utilizing and behaving in the new uh, workplace before the moving and right now we are uh, now we are in a continuous changes because we have several kind of new features uh yeah. for example it's a smart building it's a totally new things and we have uh, new features uh, news that we have to share with the employees and we have to use it well. But it's not over. It sounds like it's not over at all. Yeah, yeah. No, not at all. I mean, uh, yeah, I can see one of the questions uh, regarding how we've communicated, um, what kind of channels. And this is part of the answer for your question, Peter, uh, that what, what would uh, the, the, the points, I mean, room for improvement, uh, yeah, communication. Obviously, we've, uh, or not obviously, but we've we've used the, the traditional uh, channels of communication, so newsletter, uh, intranet um, news is, again, this change agent network, uh, we, were, we had a dedicated uh, Microsoft uh, Viva Engage site created around uh, more campus and all the all the informations, knowledge transfer, uh, like informations as well. So, so these were the uh, yeah. the main ones. I have to sum up: a newsletter is not enough. No, <laughs> not at all.
No, also uh, I've liked, and and this is kind of a, I tried. I would like to refer back in some of the the big events uh, within the company. There were always kind of a, a stand for for the more campus environment. So there were, you know, different uh, sessions when we could choose from what type of chairs we prefer as an employee. So there were, I don't know, three or five set of chairs um, and we've tested them. So this was also part of the communication. This is how uh, the, all the, all the uh, smart solution was introduced to us. So there, were, there was the, the so-called life lab. Yeah, that, that was yeah. the we life lab where, where we basically tested these solutions. It was a really great idea from, from Tundi and the, and the team. Yeah, we tested everything with the colleagues. We tried to involve them before the meeting. And we could involve them uh, to the furniture tender in this way. They could test and pick the best um, pick a, uh, best chair, what would be the best to you and yeah. to come to the campus. And it's a good chair. <laughs> uh, luckily, <laughs> luckily, uh, the, mass, uh, the mass selected yeah. the proper one. Yeah. Yes. See, the, it's really calm. Really an example of our democracy is working well. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, sure. Yeah, we got pressure to have more high adjustable tables, but that's what you can move uh, the. Well, the height of the yeah, 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 yeah. The height, the yeah, height yeah, yeah. desk. We, it, we got a lot of pressure to have more and more, and we provided more. Good to hear that your colleagues are so forward thinking and progressive in that sense, uh, especially since they were moving from really old type of traditional offices into this new building. So it, there seems to be interest. Um, thank you for all your answers so far to my questions. And as you saw, I didn't want to keep it really formal and to keep like a Q&A session just only to the end. So I was actually raising some of the questions from the audience uh, uh, while we were speaking. And there are still some questions coming in. So let me just look at them. Uh, for example, did you have a pilot for the game? Yeah, well, tricky. We had a test, um, a test scenario, I would say, uh, just a short one, a couple of locations, uh, if I'm not mistaken, four or five locations. And uh, the main uh, features of, uh, of what the platform is basically capable of, we've somehow showcased them uh, for for the buy-in or the endorsement or the approval of the top management. So it was not created for the employees, but for, uh, for, for the management. Uh, and basically they've, they've tested it. Among us within the project team, we obviously tested, but uh, not with a, with a bigger population. And just before the, the kickoff, if I'm not mistaken, uh, for the the so-called uh, more campus representatives, so for the change agents, uh, we we've basically uh, allowed them to test, uh, but it was kind of a short uh, five or six day long test period before the actual go live. So it was the project was really really stretchy, so there were not too much uh, or not too many. Um, yeah, not too much time that we had because, before before the. Yeah, because the construction was heavy as well, so this is why we got short period. Yeah, I remember that, yeah. that uh, the construction was also dragging on, and just many of the this part of the new building were not, you know, accessible yet. It was difficult to get information and, and photographs and everything from that. So that was, a, I think, a constant challenge in the whole project to to create something to prepare them while it's not really ready yet necessarily. That's that's true. I mean, yeah. tune in the team. Uh, they've they've worked. Uh, I think that there there were there were weekends as well <laughs> when when they've worked a lot uh, to be able to to uh, to keep the date. Uh, what we've uh, or what the management and uh, the compass team decided to be the the day of the the, the move. So. Uh, it was quite interesting to basically, uh, from from the journey perspective or from content creation perspective, we had to to align uh, with the schedule of this construction, and that was one of the biggest challenge that we faced to to be able to basically translate into learning content what was created or what was provided by the campus project team uh, as okay, this is your input. Okay, create some questions. These are the photos. Pip it up with the with the graphics of uh, of this uh, you know uh, 
what was on the screen as well. So it was it was quite hard. At least from 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 my end, I'm, I'm not sure uh, until this side how it was, but I can bet it was the same. Uh, it was the same. Here is better. I, I, that's it. What I can tell you. Cool. We have received um, uh, some technical questions as well. Um, could the employees reach the game on desktop or phone or even on private phones? Mm -hmm. Well, we've decided to go. Sorry. Come again? Was there any restriction or could they use it on any device? Well, uh, technically, obviously, it could uh, it could be accessible from from private uh, cell phones as well. So yeah, we've uh, we've wanted to to basically be accessible through desktop and also mobile, uh, but we've used single sign on. Uh, so only corporate phones. But since all of our um, all of our colleagues. Uh, have their their own company phone. It was not. Uh, it was a no brainer. So uh, so that's how we've uh, wanted to to go with because you know this game was dedicated for the population of uh, those who are moved in. So there are different sites within Hungary. You can imagine, uh, and this game was not for them because it's not relevant in that sense uh, for them. So yeah, we will sing a sign on. Thank you. Um, there's also two more questions that I can see. Beside the game, was there any other tool, document, present uh, you provided for the employees? Of course, well, uh, me, we, we had a, a lot of digital and non-digital tools that we used during the change management. So we have more, more than the oh, just, just one gamification. Yeah, one of the, we can mention again, uh, we've, to India and the team created a, a dedicated Microsoft Viva Engage site, uh, which was rebranded to, to more uh, campus. Uh, it was the, 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 uh, the hub center, if I'm not mistaken, yes. that was the, uh, exactly. the name. So basically, there were zillions of documents like uh, PDFs, videos, descriptions, uh, how to set up, I don't know, uh, the, the, the audiovisual uh, system of a certain meeting room and how to log in, whatever, and all the features, uh, you name it. So there were, again, tons of uh, these supportive materials yes, we next shot, to more or together. Yeah, yeah we shot uh, 45 learning videos uh, how to use things. Uh, I use my colleagues to, to shot these videos. So they, they love me very much. So, so the, 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 the gamification, so-called Play Campus, that was the mm -hmm. name of the game. Play Campus was just one part of one pillar of the whole change management structure. So, uh, yeah. And last but not least, there's a question of whether there are there were any awards uh, the employee completed awards. the game. Well, uh, oh, there was, I mean, there, there was a leaderboard. Yeah, uh, and uh, and that was mentioned uh, already. Uh, there were, I would say, valuable or kind of uh, uh, good merchandise elements. So not just you know pens and and umbrellas. Obviously, well, there were some, uh, but we've used uh, one of the the main or the biggest prizes were uh, ebook readers, for instance. Or there were different. Um, vouchers for uh for different internal and external uh services, services. yeah 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 or so, hidden uh, places in, in more campus it, it was a tour but it, it was very popular yeah. uh, we, we didn't understand why but it was very popular it's a hidden places uh, yeah, campus and it's a tour well it was really popular uh because it you know uh through this tour, you can basically visit those restricted areas, let's put it that way, which uh, the normal employee can't see. Uh, so, so for instance, there, uh, that was one of the things. We have a beauty salon uh, within the building. Uh, we have mm -hmm. a gym and we've basically, int not introduced, but uh, offered uh, vouchers for, for these uh, services as well. Uh, there were, I think, more than 20 type of uh, of merchandise elements including these 
expensive, I would say, like I've mentioned, the, the ebook reader, for instance. Not to mention that Games for Business has also planted some trees after all the users, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So okay. true. So true. Okay. Um, I don't see any questions right now. Um, I encourage the audience, if you still have questions, feel free to ask them. Um, I'm still going to be looking at the Q&A panel while I actually also start to thank for thanks, uh, uh, express my thank you for all your insights and uh, in, about this amazing journey that you shared with us, Valin and uh, Tundi. Thank you very much for taking your time. And of course, um, let me also thank the audience uh, for their time uh, and remind them that um, um, basically they will, uh, after, uh, after this webinar, they will receive a free demo to the Games for Business Gamify Learning and Engagement tool so they can try it out for themselves and see how this can work in practice. They can uh, actually log in and experience some of the elements that we have talked about today. And of course, they can feel free to request the case study about this project also. Uh, let me just check again. So if there are no further questions, then there's nothing left than just to say goodbye and thank you again for sharing the experience with us today. Um, everybody have a wonderful whatever it is that you are experiencing. For us, it's the afternoon. So have a wonderful afternoon and evening today. And watch out for our upcoming webinars and events. Um, you can follow the Games for Business LinkedIn channel or subscribe to our newsletter to find out about future events like this. And uh, yeah, um, let me just double check again if we are still out of questions. Yeah, I think we answered everything. So thank you very much, everybody, and take care. And